Hi everyone, today I will show you how to build an automation that uses AI phone calls to capture caller's name, email and location. Right now we are seeing a preview of it in action. We will use make.com's webhook function to trigger when a call ends, sending us the information we need. Then we will take that data from webhook API and send it straight to Google Sheets. Right now you can see I'm in a conversation with the agent. I'm providing my email address, phone and location. Then I am ending the call. Then webhook is triggering and adding a row to Google Sheets. And we can see the result of it here. All right, let's dive into creating a webhook trigger. Think of a webhook trigger like telling an application when someone presses this button, start this process. In our case, the button press will come from the webhook, which we will configure to send us specific information at the end of the call. First, we will create and copy our webhook URL from make.com. You can copy this. And save. Next, in WAPI, we will create a new agent for this demo. I will use a very concise prompt to save time, but feel free to elaborate on your own prompt with as much as detail you like. For now, I will simply instruct the AI assistant to gather caller's email, phone, and location. In Analysis tab, under the Structured Data section of the agent, we will add another prompt to specifically catch and collect the email, phone and location. We will also add three properties to this section, name, email and location. I'm adding the fields as name email and location and we can mark as required three of them now in wapi's messaging section we'll paste the webhook url we copied from make.com this is crucial i will remove all client message properties except for end of call report this ensures our webhook is only triggered when the call concludes not mid conversation Time to test. We will set our webhook to listen for incoming data. I will make a call to the WAPI assistant. For brevity, I will proactively offer my name after providing the necessary information and ending the call. As you can see, right now it's triggered and we are received end of call report. It includes a summary and more importantly, our recorded information is present in the structured data section. Now let's connect this to Google Sheets. We will add another node, Google Sheets node and add a row. You will need to link your Google account first, then create a new Google Sheet. I will name mine WAPI testing and I will add columns for the data I want. You can customize this as you wish.
as WAPI returns a wealth of information. For this example, I will only focus what's most relevant to me, but you can add whatever you want that comes with the webhook URL informations. Now, back in Mac.com, once your Google account is connected, you can easily search for and select your newly created Google Sheet. Upon opening it, you will see the columns we just defined. Now, when you press on the empty inputs, you can see there is red labels next to each piece of data returned by the webhook. These are draggable. Simply drag and drop the information you want into corresponding Google Sheets columns. Once set, you won't need to adjust it again unless you change your Sheets structure. Finally, let's run one more test to confirm the data is sent to Google Sheets. You need to run the make.com to listen to webhook URL calls. And then I'm calling the agent, providing the information again. And then I will end the call. And you can see we received the data to Google Sheets. WAPI also generated summary for us and provided transcript and the recording of it too. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Feel free to comment with any questions. I will be sharing more detailed automations soon, including email automations for real estate and WhatsApp automations for scheduling meetings and personalized recommendations.